Hello guys, in a very exciting news, just few hours ago, Meta has released the much awaited Llama 3 models. Meta has developed and released this Meta Llama 3 family of large language models, which is a collection of pre-trained and instruction-tuned generative text models in 8 billion and 70 billion sizes. The Llama 3 instruction-tuned models are optimized for dialogue use cases and outperforms many of the available open source chat models on common industry benchmarks. Further in developing these models, Llama and Meta has taken great care to optimize helpfulness and safety. So far, I already have done an installation video on Windows for this model and you can find the link in video's description plus also on the channel. And I can vouch personally that this model is one of the most capable open source model to this date. Its coding capabilities are also out of this world. Llama 3 is an autoregressive language model that uses an optimized transformer architecture. And in this video, I am going to give you the highlights of this Llama 3 models. Because I also have defined it when I was doing the installation in that video, but I believe that this requires another video. The tuned versions of this model use supervised fine tuning or SFT and reinforcement le learning with human feedback to align with human preferences for helpfulness and safety. I'm very surprised that they didn't use DPO and still the performance is awesome. Both the 8 and 70 billion versions use grouped query attention for improved inference capability and that is one of the industry standard. Llama 3 comes in two sizes as I said, 8 billion and 70 billion and their 400 billion parameter model is still under training. It is not yet released but I am more than sure it will be simply awesome and maybe it might be GPT-4 but let's see which and I am saying GPT-4 so that is the industry standard and everyone looks up to it. This model is text only so it only receives text input and generates text and code. It doesn't have any vision. So it cannot deal with uh, any other modality so it has only the text modality now this is the next generation of state of the art lab and its model this model is just available on hugging face at the moment and at meta but it will soon be available on aws i'm more than sure in SageMaker and bedrock and i will also do the video there it will also be available on databricks google cloud hugging face kaggle IBM Watson X, Microsoft Azure, NVIDIA Name and Snowflake and also a um, lot of hardware platforms are already supporting it including NVIDIA, AMD, AWS, Dell, Intel and Qualcomm. The model is quite responsible and there are various uh, new features in trust and safety which comes with uh, in the form of Llama Guard 2, Code Shield and CyberSec Eval 2. They are also going to introduce more capabilities to Llama 3 model so it is not done and dusted. So Meta is going to introduce longer context windows, additional model sizes uh, and also enhance performance and they will also share the Llama 3 research paper which is still not out. So I believe that this is one of the world's leading AI assistant that can boost your intelligence and lighten your load. So enjoy the Llama 8 billion 70 billion for now I think you can easily install 8 billion on your local systems in Windows and Linux if you want to and I already have done it if you want to check out my video anyway so if you check out the performance of this model both of these model 8 billion and 70 billion are a major leap over Llama 2 and establish a new state of the art model at those scales they have improve the pre-training and post-training a lot. So their pre-trained and instruction fine-tuned models are the best model existing today at the 8 billion and 70 billion. And if you check out their model card, which I will drop the link in video's description, these have already beaten Mixtrol 8 into 22 billion mixture of expert and Gemma and lot of other models, even Claude and Gemini, which is amazing. For example, it has already beaten um, the Claude and Sonnet and Gemini Pro 1.5 on MMLU, GPQA, Human Eval, and various other benchmarks. So, the architecture of this model is another thing which really, really uh, is quite interesting. 
So they opted for a relatively standard decoder only transformer architecture in this Llama 3. But they made several key improvements over Llama 2. Because Llama 3 uses a tokenizer with a vocabulary of 128k tokens that encodes language much more efficiently, which leads to substantially improved model performance. And to improve the inference efficiency of Llama 3 model, they have adopted grouped query attention across both 8 billion and 70 billion sizes. And then they trained the model on sequences of 8k tokens using a mask to ensure self attention does not cross document boundaries. The training data of this model is also something to write home about. To train the best language model, the curation of a large high quality training data set is paramount. We all know that. So they have stick to their principles and they invested heavily in pre-training data. Llama 3 is pre-trained on over 15 trillion tokens that were all collected from publicly available sources. Their training data set is seven times larger than that used for Llama 2 and it includes four times more code. Also, they will be doing more multilingual. At the moment, it is only English, but for the future multilingual use cases, over 5% of Llama 3 pre-training data set consists of high quality non-English data that covers over 30 languages. But the performance of English will still be paramount in this one. So, and they have a lot of um, filters which they have introduced in like NSFW, not safe for work filter, heuristic filters, semantic deduplication approaches, and also the text classifiers. And to effectively leverage their pre training data in Llama 3 model, they also have put in substantial effort into scaling up pre training. Specifically, they have developed a series of detailed scaling laws, which is, uh, I think, you should read in their paper, which I'll when it comes out, I will drop the link in video description. Instruction fine tuning is another great area which they have covered. To fully unlock the potential of their pre trained models on chat use cases, they innovated in their approach to instruction tuning as well. Their approach to post training is a combination of supervised fine tuning, rejection sampling, proximal policy optimization or PPO, and direct policy optimization DPO. The quality of prompts that are used in SFT and preference rankings are used in PPU and DPU has an outsized influence on the performance of aligned mode. And now a lot of stuff is happening at this one, but there are also next steps. So this Llama 3, 8 billion and 70 billion are just the beginning. Their largest model is over 400 billion parameter. And while these models are still under training, their team is excited about how they are trending. So they will be releasing multiple models with new capabilities, including multimodality, the ability to converse in multiple language, a much longer context window, and a stronger overall capabilities. They are also going to uh, release the weights of these models with the proper paper. So all in all, I think a real uh, treat for us towards the weekend. Try it out. Let me know how you go. As I said, I already have installation video out you can check it on my the, the channel i will drop the link in video description too please check it out and let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it thanks for watching